Good evening, I'm Diana Swain. From our new studio on Portage Avenue in Winnipeg, this is 24 Hours Tonight. That's our look at news for the moment. Our colleagues, Sandy Cohen and Mike Beauregard, join us on the spanky new set. This is beautiful. Absolutely. You don't have to squint under these lights, Diana. No, and half as much hairspray as being inside. <laughs> That's right. We're saving money there and on the cameraman's long underwear, I'll tell you right now. So anything extra oh, here is offset. <laughs> it's great. We hope you're enjoying our new look as well. It's been a long time coming. We've seen a lot of changes here at the CBC over the past few years. But this is by far the most exciting. For 16 years, a church, an apartment building, and four ATCO trailers were home to 24 hours. Drafty in the winter, sweltering in the summer. The paint was peeling, the furniture was a little worse for wear. Desk drawers became nests for invading mice. It was time to move. The solution was to build a two-floor addition to the main CBC building. Now 24 Hours literally has a window on our city. That second story is our studio with a view right down Portage Avenue. And the first story is our newsroom. It's a nice change from the rec room paneling of the trailers. It's actually a smaller area, but much more efficient, both in energy and use of space. The producer's desk line the outer edges of this office, and the reporters fill the inner circle here. Now in the center of it all is the assignment desk, and there's our assignment editor working on the stories. This is our lineup desk where we put the show together every night. This is where I spend a good part of my day meeting with the reporters and writing the show's scripts. On the other side of the room, a loud whisper away, our CBC radio colleagues. It makes it much easier to share resources and information. The edit suites, studio, and control room are all located here on the second floor. And as we've made this move to the new building, we've also made a change to digital technology. 24 Hours has been chosen as the testing ground for new Sony digital broadcast technology. If the equipment survives the day-to-day -day workload of our show, it may become the standard technology across the country. This new control room is bigger and better able to handle all the new technology. It has a digital effects machine, a computerized lighting system, and robotic camera controls. It's taken the efforts of set designers, carpenters, and technicians weeks to put the finishing touches on 24 Hours' new home. The tip of a hat to them. They've done an incredible job. This is so exciting from our perspective to be here, and we hope for yours as well. We've only seen a little bit of it so far. Lots more to come.